Hey y'all, welcome to Gigi's wig wall. Will be coming. Uh, hope you're doing well this day. Uh, and I'm so glad to get to share with you again um, some more information about the wigs that I have. So, uh, many of you already know my story. Just started at this just a couple of months ago and really have just dove head first into it. What you see I'm wearing right now is called Own the Room by Gabor. Um, she's recently released. Um, she is a heat-friendly fiber. And she comes in the beautiful, many, many, I think it's 24, 25 different colors. But this color is GF 1923SS, which is Shaded Biscuit. So, let me show you her. I'll just go around. Isn't she gorgeous? so well. Now y'all can see that I have her, um, she is doing a flip out around. Um, I'm one of those, I don't know if I showed that well enough to you. I am one of those that I love, a, I do like a flip. Some people are absolutely against a flip, I guess. Uh, um, I like a flip. Um, and I, I'm a child of the 70s, like, so I don't know. Flips were all over the place. We had to flip and you just looked like you were a good, clean girl with a flippy hair. So anyway, um, I like the flip. Own the Room, she's um, this new collection. Let's see, it's their designer series. Uh, just came out. I love her. She's really very much like how I tried to wear my hair. It wasn't it definitely was not this pretty, but this is how I tried to wear my hair. So like my uh, family, when they see me, it feels very comfortable for me to be wearing this for them. Um, so that's one thing I liked about it. Um, there's a lot of things I like about it. She's very easy to wear. Her cap feels comfortable on. Uh, I'm around a 21 and three quarters. Um, she's easy to throw behind the ear and look very, um, casual. Uh, she likes heat. Uh, like when I put her on this morning, I sprayed her with water all over, which has become my practice now. Just from watching the other, um, ladies, it's become my practice how they spray water and kind of open up the fibers and it brings the flyaways down, which something like this when you have it like this it could have fly away she has been easy to teach and train she's not been hard to train at all i've not had to take heat to make her stay in uh, certain positions uh she's been great to, to um, just remember to go what what shape to go back to uh, which that makes it very easy then i after i throw the water on i kind of take a little blow dryer and do medium heat all over. She likes heat. You got to remember that. Um, and so I just kind of, she was tussled a little bit earlier, but for this, um, I brought it to down into more of a polished look for this review. So when you come back, we come back, I'm going to show you the cap the inside, so you can, and we're going to talk about the specs, and uh, we'll be right back. Y'all stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Um, I've just thrown on my razor cut by Tressalore to do this review for On the Room. You know, I don't mind showing my, my head with my wig grip on, and I y'all have already seen me in a video doing that. Um, I'm just trying to keep it professional, and I'm sure I'm going to come to, like, yeah, I'm not throwing another wig on, and y'all are going to see just how I look, because I don't mind how I look. Um, okay, so here we are on the room. Isn't she spectacular? Look at her. Oh, she's beautiful. Look at those colors. Look at that fiber, the colors coming out along 
the hairline. I mean, are they not beautiful? It makes it look so natural and so real because your hair is lighter up around your face, just naturally. So anyway, um, here she is. She's gorgeous. Let me go over the specs a little bit for you. So her front here, the front is nine and a half inches. No, nine inches. Side, which is right down here, is 10 and a half. Her back is 11 and a half. Her crown is 11. It has a layer back there. Nape, eight and a half inches. And she's 4.6 ounces. So her density, I would say, is average. And she's in an average cap. So I'll tell you one thing already about wearing her. Um, like a lot of long wigs, she wants to mat a little bit here. So I take very good care of my wigs. So when I take her off after wearing her, um, if it's late at night, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna put it on the, the wig head and go to bed. But when I get up the next day and I'm doing things, I'm gonna go back to this nape. Um, I put actually some of the um, uh, wig shine on it and it just kind of loosens it up. Maybe I'm not doing the right um, product. I'm sure there's just a detangler to use but it's kind of easy, it just goes right through, it breaks that matted up, and it's not on the front, so it's not gonna be shiny. Um, and I brush that out, comb that out with a wide tooth comb, don't ever use a brush. Uh, this is Jean Rene wide tooth comb, I love these. I have them laying around the house, I have one too. I have uh, one in the, bed, the bathroom, I think there's one in the kitchen. Um, and there's one in here. So, uh, straight out of the box, when I took her out of the box, I shook her up, just like they say to do. Let me shake her. I shook her out, shook her out real good, put her on my head the right way, and just began to train her with my 10 little hair tools, which are my, my fingers, and she was just beautifully trainable. Just did just like I wanted her to do. Now let's put look at the cap. Uh, she does have, of course, the lace front, and I pink my lace fronts. Can y'all see that? Now I'm gonna tell you why I pink them. First off, I got that recommendation from uh, the girls at Mimi's to pink them um, for a couple of reasons. Sometimes you can, they're just too, perfect. You can see that line, even though they may be the same color as your makeup and everything, I find they don't blend as well. Also, it helps to cut down if you've got dark knots uh, with the um, type of wig, color of wig you have. Now, this, you don't need it for the dark knots because there are none. This is beautifully made, beautifully made. So, um, but also, I think it breaks up the line and on some of them, even though Gabor does not have this at all, you know something, guys? I don't know that I picked her. And I'll tell you why. Because she came out of the box so comfortable right there. That lace front is not pink. It's just so invisible. It's just that great and comfortable on. And I can tell you sometimes the lace fronts are not comfortable and you gotta go pink it and you gotta go work with it a little bit. But no, she is not. She is that comfortable. She's a left monofilament part. Uh, there is no permatease in this girl whatsoever. Wefted part, wefted uh, cap. Lots of stretch, nice stretch. She's got the extended nape, 
which I like the extended nape. They make me feel comfortable. And she also has the straps that you can draw her up that are Velcro. Um, on the side, she has the uh, mole split skin uh, ear tabs. Very easy to adjust and work with. Uh, she's just a beauty all the way around. And once more, let's look at this. The color. So this is shaded. So it works well. It's not too heavy of a part in the color, you know. I like that. Some of them can be almost black. And, you know, my hair does come in darker. Even when I have it, I am a, a natural blonde, but I'm an ashy blonde. And so, you know, when you throw in some color on it, uh, you always kind of have a root. But I love to have a root on my wigs because it feels more natural. It also goes along... I've, I've darkened my hair underneath. I've just gone with an ash base, cut brown base color so that if anything shows out, it looks like it just goes with my wig. So there she is on the room. You will love her. You will not be disappointed. There's sales going on with her right now. 30% off, uh, different websites and, um, you know, and those those are all kinds of websites, wigs.com, wigstudio1.com, uh, where I go to, uh, Mimi's, I don't know if they have a sale on her right now or not. She was just a bricks and mortar store, but now she is out on the web. All right, so that's my review of Own the Room in Shaded Biscuit. Um, I'll include this in the description. She is worth a buy. She really is, and she's super comfortable to wear. So thank you for coming to my uh, channel, Gigi's Wig Wall, uh, and we'll get that wig wall in here. So I'll be talking to you later. Y'all have a really, really great day, and it's always fun having you here. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.